Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this teaser video for MathConnect's Rich Communications virtual event. To remind you, the event takes place on Wednesday the 29th of September to October the 1st. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Angel Cisneros, who's the CEO of Quibas Mobile. First of all, you know, let's, let's uh, get the situation in Mexico. How, how is RCS doing in Mexico? You know that uh, in Mexico uh, we have a large uh, carrier, Telcel, uh, that has 70% cover, well, uh, subscribers. And um, we, if we say that uh, RCS was, you know, released by Telcel, then that means we have RCS right. in Mexico. Yeah. Um, as, as far as I can tell now is that uh, RCS works in, 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 um, in AT&T, um, and uh, I'm I'm not clear what's going on with Movistar, but uh, but with Delta, it's 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 working. Uh, we we as Cuba, we were uh, one of the first uh, partners for Google to to have RCS, uh, but there were still some um, some doubts about how uh, the RCS environment would work in Mexico. So uh, at the beginning, of course, it was free of charge, but, uh, but th there weren't many things that, that, that we could do. And uh, now Telcel actually picked up this, uh, the project and they are offering uh, the service to aggregators, even if they're not uh, Google partners. So uh, they st they, they, their initial uh, de uh, deployment was in March, but they delayed it for april and then they delay it for june so now uh it's actually being built by by Delta. and um so how many brands are you working with on um a to p campaigns i think now we're like we have like five so it's not that many um so um for also one of the things that uh uh, it's also, um, you know, that it, that it makes the, the process not so, uh, not so, uh, you know, transparent or directly to, to, to have approval from the, from, from Google to create the agents. Uh, I mean, of course, RCS, one of the advantages is having the identity of you know of, of the brand uh but sometimes they, 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 they here in mexico um the brands have a have a different name uh you know for for commercial way uh, commercial name to do to conduct businesses and they have the legal name so that that makes it sometimes a little bit also confusing for google because it, it has happened to us a lot like why is this brand and they have this uh, domain or this email to have the approval okay so it's like okay well it's completely normal here in, in Mexico so um, that, that's that's something that uh, that we have to face uh, but we do have I would say like five or, or, or six uh, brands that we're working now with. what are they using RCS for um, well, one of them is a um, um, a chatbot for um, for you know information about COVID. Uh, that's one. Another one is a, a satellite dish TV system where you um, like reminders or activations because uh, most of their subscribers are prepaid. So if if you forget to to prepay now you go you, you get your 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 service you know blocked so you have to go pay to the convenience store and then you have to send a message saying hey uh, here's the receipt uh, please activate my, my my service again and are you confident about RCS as an ATP channel in the long term I'm convinced that uh, that it has a lot of potential in a market like Mexico. Um, Mexico is a, is a country that, uh, well, and I think it happens on every emerging economy, not only Mexico, 
that you get uh, messages, I mean, by messages I mean phone calls, emails, uh, text, from so many different sources uh, that you as a subscriber, you, you, you lose confidence on what you're getting or what you see, right? So for example, right now there's this uh, big uh, department store that, that they have this uh, special event for, for, for the weekend. So you get texts and you get emails, uh, but the emails you click on the link and the page it doesn't, doesn't work. And then you also get texts, but you, I, I have received texts from two different shortcodes. So, um, and they say, okay, if you buy online uh, or buy from, from your device, but if you get the text, then you have to go to the app or download the app or go to or, or do the you know the website on your phone but let's be honest if you don't have a big screen smartphone it's very painful to you know to to be just you know buying especially especially if you're not buying something specific if you're just browsing for you know to to, to buy something that that is in, in an offer so in in that case i, I would say that uh, you can, you know, send the, the, the conversion, the promotional text, and uh, you as an Android user, you will see a nice banner, a carousel, something, and you would, okay, I want to buy this. And then you will, you know, you, 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 you can experience everything inside the app. So that's very convenient for, for everyone in all purposes. But I think that uh, in Mexico, we still have a lot of work to do to get there, but uh, but that would bring bring uh, confidence for for the subscribers uh, on doing you know more uh, buying online. So uh, I I'm I'm quite confident about RCS, or at least I I want to believe it's going to come to a point where it can make things easier for everyone. Great. Well, obviously, there's lots to talk about, um, especially from a LATAM point of view. And um, you'll be discussing that um, at the virtual event in a couple of weeks' time. So thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you then. Well, thank you very much for the time, Tim.